In this video, we'll discuss glass. What is glass? Is it a liquid or a solid? It's referred to as a non-crystalline solid. It's more like a frozen liquid. Scientists refer to it as an amorphous solid. Yes, you're trying to ignite yourself with big words. What does amorphous mean, Gary? Yeah. Amorphous means without, without a clearly defined shape or form. The history of glass. Glass was first discovered in about 5000 BC, but it took to about the 17th century before it was used in windows. If it could be made without surface flaws, with what we call Griffith's flaws, it would be four times stronger than steel, much stronger than your aluminium frame. <laughs> but unfortunately, it does have these flaws. But no other product can provide daylight, views, protection from the elements, and performance, what glass can do. In my opinion, it's the best building product. What you can do with glass is totally up to your imagination. Apple stores are some of, the modern, some of the best examples of how glass can be used around the world. How glass is made? Glass is comprised of 70% silica, 12% soda, and 13% lime. The cilia comes from sand, a very abundant material, soda from soda ash, and lime from limestone or dolomite. These products are mixed together in what they call a batch with broken glass or coloured. Coloured is added because it reduces the amount of temperature required to mount the batch. The molten glass is then poured onto a layer of liquid tin. The, the bottom surface of the glass will be flat due to the molten tin and gravity will dictate that the top surface is flat. Little cogs on the side of the, the glass, on the ribbon of glass, control the thickness to make it in a range from 1.2 mil to 25 mil. The glass is then controlled cool in the annealing layer that is cut up and then cut and put stored for distribution. 95% of all the world's glass is produced by the float process. Float glass is known as annealed glass. And as I said before, it can be produced in thicknesses from 1.2 mil to 25 mil. Tinted glass is produced by adding metal oxides to the mix these can be iron, cobalt, and solidium. This product glass is very chemically stable, will not fade or change at all. And tinting improves the solar performance of glass and reduces glare. It also improves the um, privacy of people in their apartments. Yes, during from the the, side, the, the light source. Yes, it does. Ah. So at night time when I've got the lights on in my apartment, people can see in there. Yes, they can. So you've got to be very careful what you get up to, Jim. The common tints of glass are green, grey, blue and bronze. And one thing to note is as the glass thickness increases, it becomes darker. That's all for this video. On our next video, we'll discuss processed glass.